It's July the 18th, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as nuclearproctologist.org, and you can find these videos and Fukushima presentations at Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. We'll just go into the chat room right quick and say hi to Kate. Now you'll find Kate's links below my video. She runs an independent chat room. It's a good spot to meet July up with people. 18th, we are streaming. And we got a huge amount to cover, and we got a fantastic night. Shanikin, Elaine, Missing Sky, Ellie, uh, Basic Data, Mr. Arenas, Jace, aka Jace, because I'm an author. I always smurf that up. And Candace, Ron S, Ninth Wave, Elmwood. Random. Got one. Alex Smith is back. And make sure I get everybody else. Good night, folks. We are live streaming on YouTube. It's a very difficult thing to do. And BK Lewis, and I'm sure many, many people I haven't said hi to. Wanna be? Thanks to Candace. Adam. Arr. And so, this is just getting crazy at this stage. The nuclear industry has gone rogue on us. And just anybody who don't understand it, please, just give me a few minutes to warm up in the live stream and listen to what I got to say. Listen carefully. This is a Fukushima reactor in Japan. It's a 100% meltdown. We've never seen that on our planet. But it gets much worse than that. This is Unit 2. That's melted down 100% and melt through and melt out. And you don't know about this, most likely, if you have never seen proper presentations on Fukushima. This is Unit 3. It's 100% meltdown, melt through, and, a, and these buildings detonated. This is Unit 4. We've never seen a single melted reactor. All we seen was Chernobyl and Three Mile Island. Three Mile Island stopped after five days to chain reaction. It took them nine years to deal with it. Nobody knows what they've really done. Studies have shown a couple of hundred thousand people were seriously impacted in the valleys because there wasn't much wind. Chernobyl lasted 10 days. 10 days. The Guardian in 2006 hell on earth. And this uh, headline has been said many times. Look at your third headline, your third sentence. For the next 10 days, you spewed equivalent 400 Hiroshima bombs. 400. Uh, Japan didn't stop. It's really grave, and it has impacted the Pacific Ocean and the land masses throughout North America in particular, but all the Pacific Rim nations are hugely impacted. This is very grave. This is very serious. I came back from an expedition on the 14th. On the 15th of this month, i done a live stream like I'm doing tonight with basically the same headline. and. I put up a five hour preamble chat room on my site and there's a countdown timer for when the stream begins and in that period of time I was savaged on my YouTube channel and, and this is, I'm a YouTube partner for over six years I was invited in when they started doing that and I'm just going to show you some stuff here this is my email your video has been removed from YouTube. Over 30 of my videos were savaged and removed from YouTube. And the videos, uh, will a real Japanese please stand up? But most of these videos were uh, people that I had exposed who were the apologists for the nuclear industry. And so I'm going to run you through those before I do anything else tonight. Should Oxford University students taught by Wade Allison get their money back? I mean, get recertified. I mean, both of them. <laughs> they should get their money back and they should get recertified. That was a really good video. And I used clips of Allison. It was legal. I've had this done to me many times. I'm a YouTube partner, so my site didn't get pulled down like the average person would have. And I've been under attack for a very long time. So the YouTube, because I'm a partner, I get special privileges. And they're not going to just yank my videos, my site down, and my privileges. Now, right now... Let me keep going through this before I get started here. Proof nuclear scientists like Dr. Kevin Kemp are human trash. And that's because of the things he said I had to call him out. These are good videos. 
Dr. Brian Hanley, a serious voodoo. I call him it legitimately. That video's been up a long time. And it shows you how he's a peddler of voodoo, of bananas, potato chips, and walking in the sunshine. Uh, rhetoric that they've been using against you for 70 years to deceive you and manipulate you and to get you confused and to keep you from understanding what nuclear really truly means. And so my videos were like one hour presentations. Some of it's crazy stuff, I know, but that's it when you get on YouTube. You're afforded that. Japan is Broken was a very good video. These were, it's time to evacuate Japan. I have all the documentations, all the modelings from international institutions showing the dispersals of Fukushima. Fukushima, newly, nuclear PR firms are the evilest people on earth. All of these videos were taken down in just a couple of hour period. Each of these videos is an hour long. And they went through it and they flagged everything and I'm not going to say how they done it because I'll be attacked again. Fukushima, but we are working now with them this Monday. Now I'm going to have to raise money to go get a lawyer because we're going to have to go after these people. They done that so the Ford Expedition for Life wouldn't get any traction and people wouldn't know what's happening to the Pacific Ocean. And you can find the documentation. I'm loading it up every day at the nuclear proctologist since I got back. And that's what I do. I go up and I document the coastline with documentation, with pictures, so there's no, and GPS, so there's no disputing that the life is missing off the entire coastline. This is because of Fukushima, and this is why all my videos, and the pro-nuclear advocates, these are heartless, soulless, spineless, worm-like creatures that make a paycheck by doing this to people like me, by doing anybody that has any dissent or tries to have a conversation that doesn't mention potato chips or bananas or walking in the sunshine or getting on an airplane in comparisons. Woods Hole, a number of these videos, who goes out there all over the country and apologizes and says, no, no, it's nothing like Fukushima or it's nothing like Chernobyl. As if Chernobyl was bad. Chernobyl one third the size. Chernobyl a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Fukushima with four melted reactors. That's why they're doing this to me. We have to put an end to that. Why does Woods Hole claim 137 turns in potassium 40? So why do they do that? Why do they claim that something that's good for you is what comes out of a reactor? Right? Why should they be allowed to get away with that? Why do your media allow them to say stuff like that? Well, he took down that video. That was a one-hour presentation. The simplest way to kill a planet is nuclear power. 30 of my videos down trying to take me down. And I'm not putting up with it. We'll get them. Everybody's going to know who they are. I don't hide away from nobody. That's what makes me accountable is I don't hide away from nobody. I'm known throughout Canada. And, and the fact that people have their character assassinating me is not going to work. But it's going to work against the people who don't know any better for a while and they're going to get extremely mad and we're going to have the names and the organizations that are making them mad. Fukushima destroyed Japan, the Pacific and the Northern Hemisphere is radioactive. That's a fact. My video removed. Fukushima death throws a nuclear power. Exposing the industry. University of Victoria. Now I got finally a recording of one of his lectures that he just done up in the Charlottes, the Queen Charlottes, where we spent 160 days on the ocean all together, six weeks in the Charlottes. There's no life up there. His job was to go up there and tell people that it's like a banana potato chip, like a cigarette, like walking in the sunshine. And a cigarette, and by the way, these don't have the 7,000 chemicals in it, but a cigarette has got nothing to do with a chain reaction. The polonium in a cigarette is nothing like plutonium from a chain reaction. Okay? It's nothing like it. No shape, no form. Polonium levels 10,000 times the normal in the water of Fukushima. Plutonium levels 10 million times normal. There is no normal plutonium man-made. Plutonium's man-made. So it's all lies. It's all you ever do to you. Lie, 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 lie. You don't know how to do anything but lie. The whales are all dying, not just these 14 carcasses. I've done a video on the 10 whales there last month. And what I'm showing you is the krill are missing. It's only the krill that are six, seven years old, because they can live up to 10 years, 
that are keeping the whales that are left alive. Everything else is emaciated. The killer whales are all emaciated. Hang on. Let me keep going because we got a stupid amount to get through tonight. Those videos are gone, see? Because that blew the lid on their cover story. It's not like a banana. Fukushima blamed the Billenberg Group for media silence. Ex extremely good videos. They targeted the best of the best. Fukushima lawyer Gregor Jacko, Jacksko, former chairman of the UN Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Not only him, but McFarland's videos were taken down too. Where in the you know this was the House of Commons where she was given a public accountability in front of Congress. And they took that one down on me. The end of governments and elite because I exposed them in that video. The beginning of a new order. That's what it was all about. An extinction event upon this planet. Alison McFarland throws Americans under the bus. The bus. Right? You see what I'm saying? So these, these cowards. Look, CBS and Seth Dorn. Faking Reactor 4. Faking it. That's what they're doing. Hang on a second. I got 500 and something pieces of information the last couple of days and I got up 1,200 pictures at the nuclear proctologist. And, but I got these pictures I got to show to you before I forget to show it to you. This is a tsunami coming in to the Fukushima Daiichi and you probably have never seen these pictures. And so we're going to scroll through these. They're only about, take me about five minutes, but I think it's a real treat for everybody. Hi, Miss Milky. Hugs for Warren. He, he's really he's really ill folks and so hard times in that family so you can see the tsunami is in updating the site you can see that big boat is you can see the waves are starting to show up to, to, like how it comes in now there's, there's pictures back and forth I'm not sure these are all in the perfect order I had to rearrange them to get them into the order but there, you'll see what I mean as I go through it. And let's try the old-fashioned way and see how that shows up over me on the screen. Maybe that'll make life a little simpler than me. Scroll, scroll, script, scroll, script. I can have me cigarette in peace. Uh oh. But anyway, what it's doing? You see how the water comes in and water goes out and goes way out. I said distorted the shadow. Throw it in there anyway, just because. This is a uh, TEPCO employees on the roof of the building. There's TEPCO employees on the roof of the building. They're snapping pictures in the whole area. Uh, but there's one section there where they snapped out pictures, and we'll go back and forth to that. My smokes don't have 7,000 chemicals. Go yak at somebody who does. Tell them that. Don't yell at them. Tell them it's terrible. Tell them there's 7,000 chemicals in it. That's why they can't quit, and so they need to get natural tobacco. Okay, that works. And so you can see the wave in updating the site. Now it's rolling right through the site. You see the boat in the horizon out there. I think that really tells the story. The shifting. Look at the waves. Coming up, you're going to see a brown splat where the wave hits one of the buildings down there on the shoreline. This wave, I think, coming in. I probably haven't got them in perfect order once again. But uh, that's the first time I've seen all of these pictures anyway in disorder. <laughs> And so here's the wave flopping up in the air, the next picture to my uh, left, my right. It's always weird because you're mirroring this to chummy. So hopefully I got it. One of those was it anyway. Uh, so it's really interesting pictures. And there's only a few more of them to roll through. We'll let them roll through. I'll just shut up for a second. And so wave come in and another wave goes over and another wave comes over that and another wave goes over that and each one is reaching further inland. Right? And then they might find a grade where they'll pick up speed. Right? But that grade will fill up and then the waves are coming over the top of that. And that's how it ran through hundreds of miles of the coastline. And that's when the wave was receding, I guess. Um really important pictures, really important you understand how the plant was totally awash, right? 
And I'll show you some more pictures in a second. We'll go back and finish off the 30 videos that are missing. Because of monsters. Because of morons who I'm going to find out who you are. We know you're a PR firm. Who else would have the patience to do something like that and pick those particular videos? Why well, pick? And I'll show you the rest of them in a minute. Okay, we're through them. And so we got lots more pictures there. I'll run through the night maybe. So here's another video YouTube took friggin' down because of uh, really scientists or wacko nuclear lobbyists. Well, they're they're nuclear lobbyists and they're not scientists, right? Is up in the Queen Charlotte's. I got him on video. I'll dig it out later this week here. And he's telling people, still telling people in 2015, because they don't think people are listening. In 2015, that's just last month, he was telling people there's 10 times more came out of Chernobyl and came out of Fukushima. Chernobyl, one third the size. Chernobyl, 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 fucking days. Fukushima 3 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. Let's keep going. Failures of the past dominating present has to change. The bananas, potato chips, water and sunshine, getting on an airplane, dental x-rays, you turn them on, turn them off, you ingest the radioactive isotopes, you are fucked. A little bit pissy, you know. This is such a good video, Elsevier, Springer and Wiley. These are the three biggest publishing houses on the planet. That's a good video to take down. Right? Because I, I break down the story and I show you all the documentation of how Elsewhere, Springer and Wally, the three biggest publishing houses, gets these studies from your institutions and there's uh, three academic studies a minute produced, published, printed. And what that means is locked away. You can never get access to it. You paid for the universities, the institutions. You paid for their tenors. You paid for their your dinners, you paid for their field trips, you paid for all the equipment in the institutions. Every year you're given hundreds of, I'm sorry, every year you give them in Canada around $35 billion and all the studies they produce get locked up at Elsewhere Springer and Wiley. They get their copyrights. You get it? That's why nobody can read the studies because they're locked away. That's why they say, well, nobody's ever going to see the study. They don't bother telling you Elsewhere Springer and Wiley got it all locked away. Oh, I did. I showed you, I connected all of these dots. A massive amount of work I've got done here in these videos. An incredible amount. Fukushima shows media outlets literally groveling for the nuclear think tanks. The PR firms. These are people who would run your children over, go to the car wash, wash it off. Maybe. Probably get your children to go do it. I ran over pesky little child. You gotta go and wash the car. Don't want mommy to get in trouble. Well, mommy works for a corporation. All you gotta do is say, well, I was doing business for that corporation because they're on the stock exchange, which is sickening. And she's not accountable, right? Google, no one can go to court and Google or Facebook. The corporation goes to court, right? Nobody goes to jail. Even if they're guilty, they get a big fine. No one gets a criminal record. They get a big fine, right? Two sets of laws, one for you, the slaves, and one for them, the gods, who can do anything to anybody at any time. That's why they take down this, and the groveling media puts them up on a pedestal, like, flare over and over and over. He should shut his fucking mouth. He's the propaganda arm. Like, he's like, you know, he should be wearing a uniform, clicking heels and shit. He's not a dummy. Look at the degrees he got. He knows it's not like a potato chip or a banana or walking in sunshine. For fuck's sakes. Fukushima whitewash by the NRC and the U.S. Congress. This is disturbing. Here was Congress groveling to the NRC. And I covered the whole friggin' thing with clips. With documentations. The deadly science of the nuclear scientists. A violation of trust. Yeah? It's the beast's biggest breach of academic... Integrity since the tobacco industry. 7,000 chemicals in your cigarette. Why is Fukushima Reactor 4 being faked by CBS? The most powerful media on the planet. Huh, Dana? What are you talking about? Okay, hang on. Do -do 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 -do. Here's unit 3. You see the spent fuel poles. <laughs> you see the... <laughs> 
<laughs> you see the reactors? That was a 10-story building. Right up there where that crane is towed. <laughs> no, it's okay, Dana. Don't say nothing. That's your other tote. That's 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. You go to the nuclear proctologist and see the headlines. I'll show it to you later on, maybe. That's unit four. <laughs> hey, nice one. That's what that... Um, It's being faked by Unit 4. Okay, we'll get to that. Hang on. we get to that right quick here. Dana. Click away, Dana. Well, that's another weird angle of number 4. It was just a weird angle, right? But I'm going to show you something. He tore all of that off. Remember that, right? Here's Fukushima. Hey, yeah, that picture you were just looking at, they're dropping... Um, Oh shit, what was the name of it? Zelloloit, Z-E-O-L-I-T-E. -E. That was a couple of weeks after um, April the 15th, 2011. Off Fukushima, they were putting that in the water to try to absorb some of the radionucleoids. But look how it washed out the coastline. Oh, but the reactors were fine, Dana. Hundreds of miles of coastline was washed away. Yeah, yeah, but the reactors are, they were made of kryptonite, Dana. Right, look at them, Dana. That's the official picture. Right? So so this is what Seth Dorn from CBS was showing you. That's why they took down my video. Right? That's why we got to get a lawyer right now and get it in their faces. That's why we got to raise the money to follow this through. No more fucking around. They got to come down a few notches. I'm going to take them down. And every video, then I can expose them. Uh, that was a barrier they put up there. <laughs> They keep the radiation out for the media, right? That was a press release picture. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't show it. See, the buildings were just uh, blew up a little tiny bit more. You wouldn't see that in the background. Just total wreckage. These were weird pictures I just grabbed because I found them. And that's unit one, 100% meltdown. That's unit two, 100% meltdown. That's unit three, 100% meltdown. That's Unit 4, 100% meltdown. We've never seen that on our planet before. How did super duper scientist Thunderfoot survive childbirth? I mean, childhood? Yeah, I stuck it to him pretty good. <laughs> stop, stop, grind, grind. He fucking ran away. Little coward. And so I had to go out and appeal all of this crap. Community guidelines appeal, blah, blah, blah. You believe his decision. So all of that, because the chicken ex, the cowards, didn't want you to understand, you know, the damage. Look how these people are standing on the foundation of their house. That's the foundation of their house. And everything is whipped away, but the nuclear plants are okay. Dana? No, no, Dana. We're going to put a big uh, Kevlar sarcophagus around it. So the, the slaves can get up close to it without dying too quick. They're, they're killing the homeless. This was all done with cranes, right? They drop these big things in. They just slant. They, everything's like a Lego. They just lay it there with cranes, right? And so then they, they put it up the stack, right? They're going to direct it up to the stack. That's highly radiated. But then, you know, here's another guy. The whole country is washed out, but no, no, the plants are okay. Dana? Look at that country. Do you think those people think for one second Fukushima Tepco is telling the truth? No, of course they don't. The other two, 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. Now, i got to get on with the video because of the distraction here tonight. That's unit three, that's unit four. Right, right to the ground, wrecked. All the way around. Let me go through a few more of these because we haven't showed these pictures. Right, I mean, total wreckage. No, no, it's all okay, Dana. So, Chernobyl, that's unit four. Now, they stripped that building right down almost to the ground. That's unit three. So, unit four, they stripped it almost all the way down to the ground. Looking for one more shot of unit four. Hang on. I mean, these people, they're doing peaceful demonstration. No revolution has ever been won 
We're walking in the streets with placards. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying that won't motivate people to do things that, that won't scare the shit out of them, give them sleepless nights for a couple of, couple of weeks. They'll be back to normal. Well, here's Unit 4. See, I want you to understand the total devastation is all the way to the ground. There is no fuel pool, right? The illusion, right, that there's something done is this cement truck. And they flew that in there. Hang on. Let me jump ahead. So I have to come back to all these pictures. That's the illusion, right? It's just an illusion and they're spraying water down or hoping it's going to land on something. Let me go back through those videos. That was, um, here you go, there's the one. So, that's the crane that's going to lift out of the pool down below it, right? Yeah? That's unit four, unit four, unit three, hang on, unit three, unit one, we just lose that, where is he too, that's not the one, hang on, bear with me for a second, there it is, right, so it's wrecked all the way to the ground, I mean, temperatures in these buildings, because of that, that building detonated several times, you do get that, right, you understand that part, let me jump over, let me show you something right quick here, these buildings, they blew up. Real detonations. Unit 3 was filled 25 miles away. Now, Chernobyl, in comparison, was 30% the size of any of the reactors. Chernobyl, they sent in a million people. 600,000 conscripted soldiers. Some of these went out on the roof for 25 or 30 seconds, went home and never went into a nuclear power plant again, and died 20 years later, 10 years later, 5 days later. A week later, a month later, the real numbers will never be known. They didn't keep records on purpose. And they obscured everything. And there was a book released that over a million dead. The numbers were much higher than that, and they'll never stop. The illnesses and the autoimmune deficiencies and the deformities and the mutations and the loss it will never stop. The, you know, the deformities are outrageous, what's really going on. Once again, Chernobyl, hell on earth, hell on earth pre-Fukushima, but it's nothing compared to Fukushima. It's irrelevant in context of Fukushima, yet read that third sentence for the next 10 days spew the equivalent 400 Hiroshima bombs because it cannibalizes the rocks. It doesn't need anything. It can just sit there in a chain reaction indefinitely. That's the theory. Nobody knows because we've never had one of these before. Nobody knows because we were using mixed oxide fuel. Mixed oxide fuel is where they took the missiles from the silos. They were already unstable. They were already two million times worse because they already went through a chain reaction. They just sit there in a chain reaction. I just done that so I can stop raising my voice for a second. I'm not the bad guy. I'm not. I sacrifice it all in, in a heartbeat to have the academics that I could trust go out and do what I'm doing. Now, and it's not me. I shouldn't say those words. Unfortunately, I'm the guy out there on that boat. Oh, 160 days straight at one trip. And I just came back from the fourth part and they tried to take down my site. They tried to wreck me. They couldn't do it out there, so they tried it here. This, everything on that is crowdfunded. Everything about it, every time I look at it, I have that pride that I have this planet behind me that is aware, doing the little things they can. And that we fight together every step of the way, even though I'm the guy out there on the ocean. I have to peel constantly to raise the funding for the next week or the next leg of the trip or the next piece of equipment. The boat's in the shop right now getting welding done on the back to mount that spare motor for the Zodiac on the roof because there's already grind a hole into one of the pontoons and it's, it's a burden. 
it's, it's 90 pounds and I wrecked my health all the time trying to deal with it. I did lose my wheelchair over the side of the boat. That forced me to get up on my sticks and that alone has done wonders for me. Uh, but it, it was an amazing struggle at the wrong time. But we struggled through it all. You know, I'm, all I'm doing is photographing the coastline. That's all I'm doing is documenting the coastline and I'm putting it up at the nuclear proctologist. Now what I'm doing with the GPS is, now what I'm doing, and this is page six of that, I only got about one more page to go. I only got about one more page to go. Let's run over and have a quick boo at that for everybody. Uh, July, and what I mean by that, I'll just show you that part first. So these folders is what I got uploaded so far. That's what I uploaded today. There's around 200 pictures. I finished up around 2 o'clock today. I started really early this morning. These are the raw files. That's the raw data of the coastline. And there should be 600 algae, 600 kelps, and then, you know, uh, 480 species of worms. There should be 70 species of sponges. There should be uh, 78 species of sea anemones. There should be, you know, these very highly visible the mollusks, the snails, the periwinkles, the whelks, the clams, the, the little necks, the, 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 the razorbacks, the horse clams, the gooey dogs, the, 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 the scallops, the abalones, the fucking clams. Everywhere, you should see it everywhere you look, signs of it, not on the rocks of course, but some of it on the rocks, but the rocks are naked. And this, these little tiny barnacles, if you scrub your feet on it, they turn to mush. They have no integrity whatsoever. There's nothing that can come back. That's the only thing that's trying. The kelp weed that you were just looking at, the entire coast is emaciated. There's nothing to feed on. The 300 species of birds are missing on the entire coastline. There's only a handful of species left. The seagulls are missing. They're down to one one millionth of a percent at best. These little tiny bumps on the rocks, they can't exist on the outside, on the westerly side. You know, we're up in the middle of nowhere. We've done this whole coastline in, in one context, but it's summertime. We need to make another trip up this coastline and in the summertime and show. This is way up the coastline. Hang on. Hang on one more. I'll get through it. So we started down by 26 and we went up by 18, between 18 and 15 this time. But we've been all the way up into that archipelago up there on that expedition for life. And I can't stop this operation because this, this has to continue. We have to get the data, we have to get documentary, but we have to document whatever happens and everything that's happening. We're it. We can't we can't just say, you know, the hard part is done. The hard part is still coming. We're just starting. We are it. We got no options. We're, we're the driving force behind reason, behind logic, and behind hope for everything on this planet, for anything left on this planet. We are looking at an extinction event right now in Canada in a 26,000 island archipelago and there is no urgency that I can't, I have to beg and beg to get enough money to do anything and everything all the time. But you can donate at my site. You can donate through PayPal, DanaDurnfordHotmail.com. I got no options but to always say that and I friggin' hate it with a passion. But what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get anything done? How am I supposed to go forward? How am I supposed to challenge these people? I'm not going to be character assassinated by people who hide away and viciously mob me on multiple sites without warrant, without merits. I didn't do anything. I worked my entire life on the ocean. I didn't do anything wrong. I got injured. I, it took me 15 years to get out of my bed and recover and then I'm back on the ocean in a wheelchair to get this data and somehow or another I'm the bad fucking person for taking donations, for asking for donations, for, for, for doing what it takes and nothing terrible, only these blogs and asking people to support me. How is that bad? How is that wrong? How did I become the boogeyman that 30 of my videos a couple of days ago 
after I come ashore from an expedition gets taken down in an attempt to silence me when nobody will carry me nobody will support me in the, in the main alternative media except for Jeff Rintz that was it the only major media out there pushing for me for us for what we're doing it's me out there doing it and I hate saying me I hate that fucking part but we need this planet to, to come alive and deal with this. Take this data. And they fucking gonna kill me. Take my data, make documentaries. I serve that purpose already. But we have to aggregate that data. We have to aggregate my videos. Because they are gonna assassinate me one way or another. They're hard at us. And I have no way to fight back without people's support, without asking for that Pacific support. I don't have a way of funding this operation without asking. There's 90 million people up with the same kind of support I got and they all got donation buttons but I'm the evil one somehow because I do exactly what I said I was going to do. I will go out into the madness and come back with this data and there's nothing to be seen there but I still have to go do that. That has to get done. We have to accomplish that. That Well, you know, that has to get done, right? There's no shortcut around that. Let me run over to that one more time. Because we didn't really cover many pictures. So much friggin' data on my computer. These are all, that's all pictures. Every one of those folders turns into this stuff. This is the stuff I'm uploading. And so we got this many pictures left to upload. And maybe I'll try to get all of them up tomorrow. And then we start on, and we start on, we still got to get all of that. Stuff there, gotta go up. Oops, Dana. So it's gonna take another couple of days just to get all that up there. These are big foils. And how big are these foils? 5.4 megabytes for that one. And, but anyway, um, let me show you something one more time. These seals allowed us to get right up to them, within a couple of feet of them. Emaciated, and I'll show you a close-up. I'll show you that it still haunts me. It still fucking haunts me. There's a little baby toe. That friggin' haunts me throughout this coastline. It's so rare to see him and be able to get right up to him. To be able to come right up to them and get a perfect shot. And there's nothing there but five or six algaes. Not 600 algaes. Not 5,600 species, highly visible species. Not 6,500 invertebrates without the backbones. Five or six algaes. With no birds. No nothing. And there is some fish there and that's what they're feeding on. But there's nothing else there. There's this handful of algae, and that's it. None of it's healthy. It's good, right? There's nothing else there. That barnacles, what you're seeing, is the only thing else there. Let's see. Right? There's nothing there. Only a handful of algae, not 600 algae, and this is very spotty. This is on the back of the west side of those islands. This is on the so we're way up north, 300 miles up north. And that's the outside the west coast. We're in that little group here. And we're anchored in that little group of islands right there. And that's um McNaughton group back door right there. And we found some starfish at that back door. We've done that archipelago of islands out there. But that cost us almost six thousand dollars to get up there and get back. It was like five hundred dollars worth of fuel. And just just barely had enough to make it back. And so I got no choice. Here's the handful of algae, the kelp weed, a bit of kelp cabbage, and um, some green algae, but not 600 algae where all the life can live and hide out at high tide. And, you know, it was a sunny day, but still look at this stuff. Kelp weeds usually got big bulbs on it, right? That float kind of on their own. These are flat. There is no bulbs on these, right? So everything we see there, there's nothing healthy about it. 
See, there's no bulbs. Yeah, there's one there, kind of. Right? That's what a bulb should be, right? Instead, they're very flat. See that? At the tips? It's a very significant thing if, if you know anything about weed or kelp algae. But look at this. One of the sponges is there. But the other 69 are missing. There's no limpets, no snails, no mollusks, no periwinkles. There's no mussels. And there was some uh, joint California blue mussels. But every rock, let me fi find a picture of rocks. Every one of these rocks should be covered in mussels, not algae. Algae should live in harmony, but you should never cover all the rock. It should be covered in mussels first. And then everything that lives in the mussels and then the algae are everywhere else. Right? Not like that, see? No mussels and no nothing else. You can see the bulbs on some of that is big, but you can kind of see that's not a really good shot. Let's find see if we find a. So some some parts of the uh, pictures are going to be clean, but some of the background is not because that's the way I'm shooting at it. And you can't shoot the whole thing clean because the different ranges of, between those rocks, right? And but there are great great pieces of it that'll be really clean shots for you. See the little bulbs? That's the kelp weed. Or kelp cabbage, or kelp weed. Ugh. There's kelp weed again. And once again, this is like that's a lot compared to most of the coastline. What you're seeing there, that's a lot. Most of the coastline got nothing on it. It's naked. It's like being up in a mountain. Okay, we'll wind her down, I guess. Hang on. Let me flash through some headlines. At the bottom of the nuclear proctologist, at the very bottom of the page, scroll down the page, you'll see these headlines. And so the same thing with the pictures, just click on the headline and give it a second, the headline will pop up. Left or right, you can go back and forth. Fukushima nuclear waste will merge with radiation from U.S. reactors when washing up on the West Coast. A startling amount released from the operating plants. And so... Dumping Fukushima radioactive waste is government's only solution. That's because radiation is like a banana and potato chip and walking in sunshine and getting on an airplane, right? Yeah. So they're going to dump it in the ocean because they don't know what to do with it. That's why I never go to supermarkets because they got fucking bananas there. I know a thing or two. You don't believe me? They're dangerous stuff. Ask Ken Busler or Jay Cullen. Marine experts on MSNBC <laughs> cable, right? You can't blame cable. They're a bunch of friggin' joke, joke. I mean, they're PR firms. They're extremely educated. They have an amazing amount of accolades and degrees to get that job. They most likely murdered someone and ate their children to get that job. Months of uncontrolled radioactive releases from Fukushima problem. Ha <laughs> ha. No, don't use a real word. Radionucleoids building up in the food chain. Build it up. I wish it was that simple. Everybody interviewed was concerned about radiation. The University of California Dean says, Oh no, we 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 seen a lot more than we were expecting. You might want to have a little chat with Noah. Noah done a model. Noah was like, oh my god shit. Right? Yeah? Noah was like now that's only based up on a single release from a single reactor for just several days. And it only included iodine 131 with an eight day half life. Slap, slap in your face. That's an insult to you. That's an insult to you. Anybody that wrote about that had a degree, an education, was a nuclear scientist or a nuclear go to guy, did all hockey, right? Pull a sweater over him. He's not going to defend himself. He's a nuclear scientist. They, they can't fight. That's why their wives married them. They don't know how to do anything. Only what they're told. They were told to lie to you and make sure that slaves don't know that purple shit was burying your country. Do you think for one second the Xenon-133 travels by itself? Do you think that the reactors run on Xenon? Do you think the reactors don't run on, oh, I don't know, uranium and plutonium? With billions of years of half-life, huh? Huh? Do ya? Do ya? Huh? Okay, I'm just kidding you. 
There's a lot of people out there that actually believe that. Look at Health Canada drinking water standards. Look up Health Canada drinking water standards and for natural radionuclides is 0 0.05 becquels a liter. Now they normally didn't do it in liters, they've done it in a cubic meter. But because of Fukushima, it's 7 million becquels per cubic meter of water, like your hot tub. Or, you can't tell the slaves that, so we told them 7,000 becquels a liter. Don't worry about it. It's just tritium. It's just made by a chain reaction. Just ignore them. We're the nuclear industry. Most powerful thing in the universe. That is about going to be torn apart when people find out what you got done. They're going to wreck your entire world. Say goodbye to pensions. Say goodbye to dots. I can't wait to find out who that fucking scumbag cocksucker is. That low-life dirtbag monkey fucking piece of shit who has done nothing but character assassinated me without fucking cause. I'm going to connect him up to... You watch. It's coming, buddy. Oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah. I'm going to obsess on you now, fuckhead. Just unbelievable. Once again, just remember, hell on earth. And by the way, I left my phone number three fucking times on Dot's fucking channel. Three fucking times he after saying I won't have a conversation with him. I don't know who the fuck he is, but I'm going to. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. It's coming right away to Monday. Hello, lawyer. I got to come up and see you. Okay, Dana. You coming to the supper tonight? Oh, yeah, I'll be up there. We got to go deal with a dirt bag. So, look, the third line. For the next 10 days, spewed the equivalent, this is Chernobyl, of 400 Hiroshima bombs. 400 Hiroshima bombs. 400 in 10 days. 10. Fukushima is 160 times that. Fukushima is three 100% melter reactors. Chernobyl, one third the size, a 30% meltdown, stopped after 10 days. Fukushima using melted fuel, mixed oxide fuel, two million times worse. Now they're saying two billion times worse than the academics. Two billion times worse than any other reactor on the planet. That's why you're looking at the extinction right now of the Pacific coastlines of the Pacific nations. Canada, 26,000 archipelagos. And we documented less than 100 species out of a possible 5,600 highly visible ones. They're going to attack me. They're going to assassinate me. They're probably going to kill me. But you can take all my documentation I already got up there making documentaries. Get out and finish the job. Right? I got you good enough now. You know a banana got nothing to do with it. Right? You know walking in the sunshine got... You know these, these are evil people that say that. And that they're everywhere out there. And that's what they will say. They won't say anything any different. Because then you're going to say, well, why did you tell us like a banana for the last 70 years? Why did you tell us like a potato chip? That's a question you've got to ask yourself. Besides the fact that Dr. Raymond Gilmetty on the beagle dogs and beagle puppies studies showed that 70% of the beagle dogs and puppies, yeah, puppies. For 35 years, they killed these beagle dogs and beagle puppies at Loveless Respiratory Research Institute in New Mexico. I say New Mexico. You say New Mexico. Sue me. He killed beagle dogs and beagle puppies with the smallest particles of plutonium and americium. What the fuck do you think three melter reactors in Japan is going to do? You got to get your asses in gear. You got to start pushing back. You got to start fucking getting in their faces. When they say Fukushima, you got to get in there and slaughter them in the comment section. You got to blog them out. You got to call them out publicly. You got to fucking get in their faces. Call up that station and say, don't fucking say it again. That's the only option you got. And you got enough of you, you'll put an end to them. These are cowards. These are cowards. These are cowards. Hugs for everybody. Good night, everybody. Elmwood. Alex Smith. Candace. Elaine. Miss Milky. BK Warren. I'm your author. And everybody else, I know I'm not going to get a chance. Alex Smith, I know. BK, Missing Sky, Aqua, Candace, Ninth Wave, Gary, Adam, Sylvia, I missed you last time, honey, sorry. Basic Data, hi, Kate, and Kate's link is below.
and everybody else hugs for everybody and so once again I got to deal with YouTube uh, and a lawyer on Monday we're gonna have to raise a few thousand bucks right away we gotta get this in motion so we can keep sticking it to them and follow through on it you donate at my site and donate at PayPal type in Dana Durnford at hotmail.com and that's my my email at PayPal to donate and any credit cards at my uh, nuclearproctologist.org so let's find out who took all my videos down and tried to destroy me let's find out because they're a PR firm we'll find out who they are regardless of who they are we need to do that we need to make an example of these people and boy fuck I'm gonna have my way if I gotta sell everything I got to do it I'll fucking do it at this stage it's got to get done. These people got to get dealt with, and that's what I intend to do. And I shouldn't have to waste my time on these lower forms of life. But just for an example, so we can refer to them every night by name, with their pictures and their data. I'll do that for us. Hugs everybody. <laughs>